In this video, I want to briefly introduce the double factorial function. So, so what is the double factorial function? Well, uh, the ordinary factorial function, uh, written n factorial, is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all, all the way down 3 times 2, all the way down to 1. Uh, the double factorial, you know, and, and maybe, maybe you can guess just from the name, uh, is equal to n times n minus 2 times n minus 4, all the way down to 1. And so it's exactly like the factorial function, except instead of taking uh, steps down by 1 for each term here, you're taking steps down by 2. So an example of this would be that, say, 9 double factorial, 9 double factorial is equal to 9 times 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. So 9 double factorial is just taking uh, the number 9 and just multiplying every odd number uh, less than it together. For a number like 10, say, 10 double factorial, uh, then we have 10 times 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. So in that case, we're starting from 10, and we're multiplying every even number le uh, less than or equal to 10 together. And that gives us our 10 double factorial. Uh, and so one thing that we can read off from this immediately is that one property of the double factorial function, uh, one, one really nice uh, property is that n factorial is equal to n double factorial times n minus 1 double factorial, right? And we can see this for, uh, clearly in the case of n, uh, of n factorial. So for n factorial, we have n double factorial, which is 10 times 8 times 6 times 4 times 2, times n minus 1 double factorial, which is 9 double factorial, 9 times 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. Uh, and you can see if you can multiply these two together, uh, you're going to have all the factors that go into 10 factorial. And so and so this, this expression right here, or, or this property, is manifestly true. Uh, the only other thing I'll say about the double factorial function is that it satisfies uh, one really, uh, so, or two really nice properties for uh, even and odd uh, choices of n. And, and they allow us to rewrite double factorials in terms of single factorials. Uh, so for example, for n even, uh, we have the property that n double factorial is equal to 2 to the n over 2 times n over 2 factorial. And if this is true, right, so if, if we really believe that this is true right here, uh, then we can use this property right here. We can use this property right here and say that for, uh, for, n, for n odd, if this property is true, uh, then we should have that uh, n double factorial, if it's odd, is equal to n factorial over n minus 1 double factorial, where this n minus 1 double factorial is even. And if it's even, then we can use this property right here, and we get that uh, this, is, this is equal to n factorial divided by 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. All right. And this whole thing right here is also sometimes written as n plus 1, n plus 1 factorial over 2 to the n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 over 2 factorial. Uh, so the last thing I'll do, so, so I've, I've sort of told you that this is true and hence this is true, but I haven't actually shown that this is the case. Uh, and so what I want to do is just prove that this is true using induction. And so uh, how is this going to work for induction? Well. Uh, when we do induction, what do we do? Well, we only start with the base case. So what's, what's the base case here? The base case is n equal 2, uh, since we're doing for n even. So n equals 2, what do we get? We get 2 double factorial, which should just be equal to 2. And then we have 2 to the 2 over 2, so just 2 times 2 over 2, which is 1 factorial. So we know it works for the base case. So we know uh, 2 double factorial is equal to 2, so our base case checks out. Then uh, we make our inductive step, which is that we assume that this is true for k. So, so k double factorial, we say, is equal to 2 to the k over 2 times uh, k over 2 factorial. And then we have, to, we have to show now, show that this is true for k plus 1. Uh, so let's do that. So k plus 1 double factorial, or, or rather k plus 2 double factorial, right, because now... Um, we're only looking at even n, and so the, ne the next case is going to be um, adding up by 2. Uh, so k plus 2 double factorial, 
uh, which is also known as k plus 2 times k double factorial. This is equal to, well, from this step right here, we know that k double factorial is equal to, uh, we know k double factorial is equal to 2 to the k over 2 times k over 2 factorial. That's our inductive step. But uh, we can pull out a factor of 2 from this. So we can, we can rewrite this as 2 times k over 2 plus 1, k over 2 plus 1, times 2 to the k over 2, uh, k over 2 factorial. And notice that uh, we, can, we, can, we can absorb this k over 2 plus 1 into this factorial right here, and we can multiply, and we, and we can combine this 2 with this 2 to the k over 2. Uh, and what we get is that this is 2 to the k plus 2 over 2 times k over 2 plus 1 factorial. And so this checks out what we've, we've, we've been able to prove uh, that this is true for k plus 2. So, so our sort of our, our, our k plus 1 type case. Uh, therefore, this, this thing right here is true. And since this is true, this guy over here also nat naturally follows. Okay, uh, so I think I'll stop here. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, look at an application of the double factorial for deriving a closed form formula for half integer values of the gamma function. And, and that, that's going to be a, uh, a, a real neat video and, and really important for some future properties that I'm going to show in other videos. Uh, so I hope to see you there.